Hey, so what we got here is an 8 terabyte um, desktop uh, USB 3 drive from Western Digital. Now, uh, these normally go for like 250, but you can find them on sale for uh, for 160, and that's what I bought this at. And inside this thing, there should be an 8 terabyte red drive, the 5400 RPM drive, which you can't really buy below 250 nowadays, maybe 247. Uh, last time I checked. Um, so it's a hell of a deal if you know how to take one out of uh, this, or even just to use this as a desktop drive. It's a hell of a deal. Um, you can probably find it on, the, I think, uh, uh, Best Buy or Amazon, okay? Um, so this features a software, WD Western Digital Backup, and it's got a two-year warranty. It's Windows 10 compatible and Mac compatible. Now, it doesn't say Windows 7, but I would assume Windows 7 or 8 as well, okay? So let's look at the contents here. You get the drive, you get the USB 3.0 cable, WD Discovery software with the backup and drive utilities. AC adapter, um, I think it runs on 110, 120 and 240. And a quick install guide. It's compatible, oh, it says it here, with 10, 8.1 or 7. Now for Mac OS, it requires reformatting. You can probably read it, but to write to it, you gotta reformat. Um, okay. So they say this is an easy to use automatic backup software to help preserve your photos, documents, videos, music, and files. All right, um, all right, let's uh, take a look at the drive. All right, so inside the box, we have the drive in this nice, simple, basic enclosure, okay? On the back, you notice here we have the USB 3.0 connection, with this cable here, and a power connection. Now this power brick does run between 100 and 240 volts, so this will work internationally as long as you can convert the plugs, or maybe uh, if you buy this in other countries, uh, they have the plugs already. Um, so yeah, all you should do is hook this up here, and we'll hook this up. Okay. That's that, and it's ready to go on a PC, all right? Oh, and you also get this quick setup guide in 17 different languages, okay, and no pictures. Uh, yeah, okay, we're not gonna read that, okay? All right, so we're gonna plug it in. You can hear it spin up like what happens with the removable drives. All right, we just want to open a folder. All right, so we got the drive set up in Windows. Okay, easy store drive. Now WD Discovery. Uh, well, let's go back here. We notice we have 7.27, three terabytes of space. Um, yeah, they always do that to us, okay? They should sell an 8 terabyte drive and you get like 10% less. Okay, so we have, what is this? Offline installers, WD drive utilities. So I always like to install this because it tells me the condition of the drive. So we're installing the utilities. Installation complete, okay, finish that. All right, so in the utilities, we can check like half of the drive and stuff. Okay, run drive status check, everything passed, quick drive test. Uh, I don't know how quick this is, it might take a few seconds. All right, so we finished the test. Okay, what does it say here? Passed. Okay, that doesn't give us any details. Uh, we're not going to run a complete test. Let's go ahead and install the WD Discovery Utilities. See what these are about, okay? Uh, we have a user manual, WD Discovery. So this is inside the drive once you mount it to your uh, Windows. Okay, WD Discovery, next. So we can easily, uh, this is what you get out of the drive. You can uh, protect, easily back up your precious data. 
you can monitor the health of your drive and you can discover new apps and services okay now we don't want to participate in the product development if you do check that uh, make, yeah check that box there we go so we're installing here WD discovery and what's happening okay so um, tells us that the new version is available can't move it I think you can see it so um, so we'll click here to update show OS notifications start on system setup okay so we're downloading this how long is this gonna take it's gonna slow all right so the update finally downloaded let's go ahead and install it uh, right now it says it's updating updating WD discovery and there's also a version here for Mac okay uh, just showing the PC version here all right so all right so I think it's 100% available what else does it say WD discovery should be here on the on the bottom okay WD discovery apps drive utilities uh, try to sell you some other apps okay so we got the utilities here so utilities is part of these WD um, what do you call it discovery apps okay so we've run this we have some settings here where we can set up a sleep timer um, on or off um, you know how many minutes after how many minutes should the drive go to sleep uh, save you some energy if you care okay and then you can even do the LED turn it off and on um, now um, they have this erase utility that supposedly should erase everything on a drive obviously don't do that and then this will actually format it the way you want uh, so EXFED works with uh, Mac OS now we gotta get to the second part of this video which is actually taking out what's inside so what we want to do here is open the case here so we can get at the 8 terabyte drive that's inside um, and we do this uh, if you have like an old credit card or gift card you can basically pry it open you gotta find these clips inside here and you put these plastic pins uh, put these plastic cards in there uh, to dislocate the clips Easier said than done, of course. Okay, I think I just broke one actually. Okay, um, let's do this here as well. All right, and let's do one more here. And then we're gonna do the front and and uh, the bottom on the front and the bottom and the top on the front as well so I'm having actually difficulty prying this open let's see if we can slip a screwdriver in there should be able just to open this top there we go so this just slides off right now and voila we're left with eight terabyte ooh what did they send us uh, so I actually thought we we're gonna get the red drive but this one doesn't have the red drive um, W D A D E M A Z with the 250 megabyte cache, which is actually very substantial, was made in August 
2017. Okay, so I'm a bit shocked to find out that I actually got a white label uh, drive instead of the red label. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna use this in my drive anyway. There's a way to run serial numbers in a crystal drive track. Um, so you can find out what drives inside before you take it apart. Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised and a little bummed this was the case. Now to take it out of this enclosure, you can just tilt it up this way. Not where the connectors are, where there's no connectors. Tilt it up and very carefully uh, take it out here. Uh, you might want to keep this if you want to put a different drive inside there. Um, so then you got to remove this big screw here and also these side bumper screws, okay? I'm gonna remove these bumpers. Uh, you need a hex key for that, okay. So this is the interface board with the USB 3 and the uh, power as well, okay? And the LED, this is the LED uh, kind of fiber optic thing. Okay, so this is it here. Um, yeah, we just removed these bumpers and we have a drive that's ready to go. So this is it. Uh, what's nice here that we got actually a drive with 256 megabyte of cache. Uh, so this is definitely worth it. And putting this without the USB interface, um, I think it's just gonna be a tiny bit faster because uh, anytime you have extra interfaces, I think it's extra work that the processor has to do. Um, I haven't tested it. I'm just like speaking out of my experience, I guess. All right, well, so this is it. We're gonna pop it into a computer and just see if it works, okay? Okay, so let's look at this. Um, so the results for the drive uh, test for the read and write, uh, it hits about 200 megabytes a second. However, it does not compare to the solid state, which hits 500 or the NVNV, uh, NVMe drives hit about a terabyte. Uh, so it is much slower than that, but still plenty fast and very cheap. Uh, I mean, this drive cost me 160 bucks versus 500 for one fourth the space, uh, the capacity. Uh, now this drive does really bad as all um, platter drives compared to SSDs when it comes to small files. You can see the SSD being almost 300 times faster. Uh, but that's that. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.